Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared out of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned Materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. One minute, I'm outnumbered. And the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. 
Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are right we there. talking Makes about the same cloud? Come on. The are down. Guy's desperate Maybe to prove himself. Not like us. he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I don't think about it. Reunions as this station started right here. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. I kind of wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? Don't know. I think they just told us. Treat you and yours to something special, you know, but remember, only mm -hmm. one per person. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like the guy who only has to worry about the how, and doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You are the uh, guy with Aerith. Right? Whoever brought you back, I guess? I'm never gonna and assuming there was products? someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell 
with it. Let's just do what we want. Start by robbing folks and stock it up. It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <clears throat> Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh... Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it? Hello in there. Still stand 
landing. Welcome to the village of the Gee. are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. I got it. Let's 
finish this. probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest black materia. of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. <laughs> Purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along.
Let's do this. You're dead. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Huh? Mm. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. 
Only you can end our torment. Ah, uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? Uh, no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! So, Kate said, I gotta ask. How do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, we should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? I think so. But I bet all Boogie will know for sure. You're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah.
Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo... I'm... Nebo... I'm... Nebo... I'm... Ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Ah! Oh, of course! Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Sephiroth, wait up! Bring me the black materia. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. 
It's almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Aye. Not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Cause Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important too, but no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only... <laughs> We should get going. Let's go! He's in for it now! Need my help! Come on. Holding up! Taking over.
Cloud, look at this. It's... It's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think rebuilt it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. out here yeah and look locals only they aren't quite the same are they hello there can I help you greetings good sir I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know... I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to take the questions first. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. There. All done. Take care. You're here to visit someone. I'm afraid you, you might have noticed how some of our patients <laughs> No, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge.
Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. Oh, Shadow Blood. Uh, Queen. Uh, witch. That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. I'm not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms? You know... Hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is... Anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like it was fate. <laughs> yeah, like it was fate. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd... you know... Always be looking at me? I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kind of hate that about myself. Gotta get it together. Gotta get it together. Hmm? You think someone would brief us on these things, considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them? This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Well, now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. 
least I think they are. Although, we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? Let's take a little break and try again, all right? So that's Mount Nebel. It cuts a rather stern and imposing figure, the ragged ridges jutting into the sky, like something out of a fantastical painting. Slowly now. I feel so bad for these people. All we do is bend over backwards for these people, and what do we get? You used to live here a long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. Just relax. Nothing to be afraid of. They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? I just want to know what they're rounding them up for. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Welcome. Would you like a room? Safe travels. Friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kinda depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? Yep, real city mouse. Zach. Zach Fair. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Eric. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. Where are you? What happened to you? a smidge more time. I understand this must be confusing for you, but I don't know anything either. I just go where the company tells me, that's it. No need to wear yourself out. Sucks. 
something about that place doesn't sit right with me. You mean Shinra Manor? Oh, sorry. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. Yeah, does kind of make you feel like shit. I'm really sorry. Uh, come to think of it, it's kind of rude we keep calling them robed guys and stuff. They've got names, right? Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud, ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? All right, what about, say, oh, materia? Yep. Some of them even form naturally. No way! Naturally? Oh, man! You got my mouth watering! What are we waiting for? That materia needs me! Keep your arms straight. That's what everyone tells me at least. So. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? Today's target is none other than Mount Nebel. No other natural formation can inspire so much dread. Just looking at it gives me goosebumps. Gonna get some shots around town, too. Not every day I visit Nibelheim. If you find a place worth shooting, give me a holler. So that's Mount Nebel. It cuts a rather stern and imposing figure. The Let's take a little break and try again, all right? Question. This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the poor Gotta thing what it wants and see the sight. Hey, I don't just catch a break. To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess. This is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later.
If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I know it's not the village you knew, but it's still nice. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I can't believe this. Oh. I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the Deputy Commissioner? Or the Commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki's up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Ah, uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. Being a caretaker isn't easy. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. <laughs> Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. My materia needs me. New bridge just went in, you know? Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Reactor word, ho! Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, so it begins. Hurry it up already! That the new bridge I see up ahead? and fate's hands then.
What is it? I remember what happened here. And to Zack. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. We gotta tell Aerith about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing's materia? Wow, it 
it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako's making me queasy. Yeah, me too. On you. You won't regret this. there. Once we get past this part, then... Come on. Let's find another route. No need to worry. I've already found one. More climbing, but hey!
Still up for it? Not done yet! Take the lead. All set! It's on you! Let's do deal with that. You're in good hands now! Got me now! Okay! Hang back. Not bad, but not my best. Let's go. Let me out. Group before. You gonna be okay, Yuffie? Oh, yeah. No problem. This is nothing compared to what we got in Wutai. Like the massive sculpture of the Chow carved into the face of this one cliff. <clears throat> All us ninjas have to scale it. Part of our training. Never liked the climb much. I freaking loved the reward. Which was? The Chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we made it to the top. Ah, tell you what. I'll give you some when we finish our climb. <laughs> That's <laughs> kind, but you really don't have to. Do 
it! Coming! Duty calls. Murasaki, right? What about him? It's just, uh, his name sounds Utayan. I'm sure plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably worked for Shinra. Oh. Huh. I had never thought about that before. Gotta be a way to get down. foreigners into Wutai either. I mean, take Colonel Lothrop. He and Viceroy Saruth are the whole reason we have an interim government in the first place. In fact, his whole team is made up of nothing but ex-soldiers. Bunch of badasses who decided to give Shinra the finger. I know, like you. Nothing like me. Got so much in common, you'd be best buds. Just saying. It's never too late to join the guys. Wanna join up? I'm dead serious, you know. I really think you'd like it in Wutai. We could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. The Yuffie Recon Patrol! 
Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions, and tremble in fear when they see the wire peas coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Did Command call it off? Why didn't anyone tell me? Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Right. This is it. There's no turning back. Told you anything? No, nothing! I had no idea they were planning an operation! I should have been here! Should have done something for them! You've done tons for us. Remember that. Whatever. Bring it! 
We gotta find Murasaki. <sighs> oh my god. That thing must have done this. I doubt it. They were shot. Guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Yes! Get in there, my son! I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio! See ya! Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> You gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. <clears throat> no need to wear yourself out. <clears throat> Careful out there. Hey, boy. 
pulled out all the stops decorating this place. Definitely seen better days, though. Ah, what's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes, after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumour that Hojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> Doubt it's just a rumour. Clubhouse. Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello, and welcome to Shinra Manor. <laughs> Hojo. I don't know what it is you hope to find here. But I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone, but please feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him! Just an AI caretaker! That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. That was a sore one. Don't walk into the light, Barrett. That shithead is gonna get it. I think we're trapped in here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Problem solving to me, eh? You're in safe pause now. I know how to let him have it. I'll you can do it. Guess to see ya. Fuck on me. Want some more? See you around.
service suspended. So near and yet so far. Mention it. All in a day's work. Oh yeah! 
another one in the bag. Error detected in power generator. Lockdown protocol engaged. Insufficient Mako. Administer accelerant to red generator. required to meet operational standards. disengaged. According to this, that generator somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air ducts I go. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me. Ready to rub it in? Hit! 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 Hit
quite a scrap. to get the thing open first. <laughs> onto loading bay to proceed. <sighs> right then. A few boxes ought to do the trick. Now, let's see. to proceed.
Huh? Eh? What now? better for a wee lie down. <clears throat> so then, onwards and upwards? Time. You'll require the password to proceed. Yeah. Huh? You again. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like hell you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> Oh, how forgetful of me. This 
This area is off limits to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly failure. <laughs> Wasn't he built for this kind of thing? Excellent work dispatching that scene. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again. Exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Dragged in. Hey there. Uh. Hmm? So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tune on past mistakes. Uh, right. Is a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm.
Security. Uh... <laughs> Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm -hmm. Key card. The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Boy, still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Out of here. 
Oh no! I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake! We didn't mean any- ah! <laughs> Don't haunt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. Together. Yes, it's my turn! You're as good as dead. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end?
That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet, come on. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that, Black Materia? I'm coming for ya! Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof! Well, it ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's on. So, <laughs> where is it? Aye, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. <sighs> thank you. Well, if we gotta. Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. My desire to see you has driven me on. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> At 
That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's con it one last time! He's mine! How the fire changes! Not that one. This ends here. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch! Need a light. Let's finish this. You had your chance. So long. There's no escaping the degradation, my friend. to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. Military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wu Tai's commander, Viceroy Saruf.
Who exactly is this Saruf? The Invisible Man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier. P-0 class. A prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> A spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Ladbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. Uh, if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <sighs> yeah. Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the Promised Land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the Salsa? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kitsef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride! Whew. Breaking news at this hour. Breaking news at this hour. In response to the illegal broadcast by the SRC. Cloud! I'm picking up proto-relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out? How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the... Sorry. President Rufus Shinra held an emergency press